This plugin is like a cheat code to make my video tutorials. Hi guys, it's Frenchie and today I'm going to talk about a plugin that I love to my core because I use it so often now on my YouTube videos. You could have seen it on my YouTube videos for a bit of time and this is the M How To from Motion VFX. And of course, the video today is sponsored by Motion VFX. If you don't know Motion VFX, this is the leader in terms of plugin for DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro for editing and motion designing. And if you are new here, I am a big fan of Motion VFX because I have a bunch of their plugins for me to edit my videos, but also to edit some other projects. These plugins are super convenient to use, especially for me. I am a colorist full time and YouTube is not my main activity. So having some presets already made for my editing is making my life so much easier. And I really enjoy to edit with these. If you want to check out Motion VFX, I put the link in the description, but also I'm gonna put the link for M How To straight away in the description so you can just click and go straight to the page of M How To and now we're gonna see what's inside this package. Let's see how to download your M How To. So for this you're gonna go to the Motion VFX website, you're gonna go to DaVinci Resolve and in the DaVinci Resolve page search M How To. Now that we are here I'm gonna buy the M how to for DaVinci Resolve. Something to know with Motion VFX is that to install their plugin, you're gonna have to install their installer called M Installer. For this, it's very simple. You're gonna go to the M Installer page, so Motion VFX slash M Installer, and you're gonna get it for your computer. If you have a Mac, you take the Mac. If you have a Windows, you take for Windows. And it's going to install the app where you're going to find all your plugin that you bought and where you can activate your plugin. So you can see that my M How To has been activated on my device. So for this, it's very simple. So you can just click on install and then it will activate it on your DaVinci Resolve. If you have DaVinci Resolve already open, you just have to close it and then reopen it again. Now that we are in our timeline and that our Motion VFX plugin has been installed, we can see what's inside our package. What I'm gonna do is go to my effects, stay in toolbox and type in the search bar M how to. Here, I'm gonna have everything that is inside the M how to package, where I'm gonna have camera movements, placeholders, add-ons, backgrounds, typography, and some M how to transitions. The first thing that I really love from M how to is the fact that there are a lot of titles and it really is my process of editing my YouTube videos. So you can see that when I'm doing my YouTube videos, I'm going to have some titles coming in or maybe I'm going to have a bit of text like doodle text just like to mention something or some titles for menus just to organize my video. So let's go to the titles and you're going to have multiple titles option. It's actually pretty convenient for me because I don't have to create my titles, design my titles and then animate my titles. It's going to be all here for me and I can just drag it and drop it. Let's say I want to put my name and my position. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drag it and I'm going to put, okay, this is Frenchy color grading here. So title control, Frenchy color grading, and I'm not a cinematographer. I'm going to go to the subtitle control and I'm going to put colorist. And here we are. I'm having in just like few seconds already a template for people that either I'm going to invite on the video or just for me to present myself to my audience. So it's pretty convenient. I use quite often this title, which is the M How To Title 3, which 
is pretty convenient so you can see it comes in like glitch but also it's writing DaVinci Resolve 20.1 I like this touch of something that is hybrid of motion graphics but at the same time this is something that is relatable with handwriting so it's pretty good what I really like also is this title and it was really useful for my presentation of my LUTs. I'm just going to put it a bit bigger because it helps actually for us to know what's inside, for example, my bundle LUT. So you have 155 camera LUTs, you have 31 LUTs in DaVinci White Gamut, you have film looks, commercial looks and an instruction guide. And I've done it with this title. So Technically, I'm just going to show you how I've done it. So let's say, okay, I'm going to put this title over here and I want to actually have only these texts over here like that, but I don't want to have this text in the middle. So what I can do is that I can go to my inspector over here and I can go to my effect control where you have the content control, which is the overall content, okay? A content scale, content rotation. But my problem is that I want to remove this title in the middle. I can go to title control and I see that in the example, this is my title in the middle. I can just disable that and then just put what I want in the middle. If, for example, I want to modify the position of my arrows or the scale of my arrows or the length of my arrows, I can just do it for each arrow. And it's pretty cool because we have a lot of option to modify our title over here. Also, if I don't want to have this entry, I can just remove it. It's very flexible and this is what I really appreciate with these plugins. What I really also enjoy are the camera movements. The camera movements are pretty interesting, especially the M How To 3D Zoom. So I'm going to show you how to use the M How To 3D Zoom for this kind of effect when you are presenting another channel or when you are presenting something on the screen and you want an effect of a 3D zoom on it. So to use it, you're going to have to use an adjustment clip. So for this, you just type adjustment clip and we're going to put it on top of our footage over here. I'm going to go back and put my 3D zoom and put it on my adjustment layer. And so you're going to see that my 3D zoom will 3D zoom on a part of my script, but it's not the part that I want. So for this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the camera control. I can regulate the in point and the out point. If I want the in point to be later, I can put it later, but I'm going to stay at something like this. So we can modify the camera target where the camera lens, you can modify this. You can modify the zoom of it and you can modify the X offset and the Y offset. Let's just go to something that is more believable for our screens. I can also rotate the X to have something that is a bit more aesthetically pleasing and also modify the camera perspective, something that is dramatic or something that is not so much. So I think it's a pretty cool effect to have. Also, you have a grid control, so you can see that on my screen there is a grid. I can remove it or I can modify it. I don't like the grid, so I remove it. And let's say I want to highlight something on the screen, then I can have this 3D zoom and have something that is stylized. Also, what I like with the M How To is that you have a lot of options for placeholders. Let's say I want to have this image on top of my UI. So I can choose actually the M How To Avatar where when I drop it, I already have a bubble where I'm in it and I can then modify my position, my scale inside this bubble. There is the M How To Quick Tip that actually I use sometimes and I find that it's pretty good because you also have a text on top of it and I can go to my description control and say, okay, not the try this, but this 
change my life. And if I say, okay, this changed my life, this is too big for my screen, right? So what I can do is just go to the scale of my description control and make it a bit tinier. And what I can do also for the line, the underline, I can also modify it and make it a tiny bit less long like that. Also, what I really like in my how to package is the fact that you have multiple backgrounds you can choose from. And I really like the how to clouds. So these how to clouds are quite useful when I'm showing something like a graph or uh, when I'm explaining some things and I want my text to pop out. I'm going to click on it and go to my settings. I can modify the detail of my plasma. If I want a plasma or I don't want a plasma, I can choose. I can modify the color of my plasma and choose something that is more aligned with my artistic direction. For example, I can change the color of the other shade of the plasma. I can do something really customized. You can modify the distortion. You can modify the grain if you want more grain or not. It's really really cool and in the background you also have the dimness so if for example you don't want the dimness uh, to have a transition in and a transition out you can remove the transition in the transition out so for example when i'm gonna uh, play it it's gonna go straight like that for example and so i can modify the gradient i can modify the blur i can modify the color so it's very customizable. There is something that is cool and this is the transition for the M how to. And you're going to have some transition. You can just drag and drop like this. You have some burn, you have some blur. So there is also some fade, some light leak, some prism, some shift from slide to slide and a slit. So it's actually giving you so many options and I think it is cool to explore and it helps to dynamize your YouTube videos if you are a content creator. So this is all for me guys. I hope this helps if you are a content creator and you are looking for a plugin that has almost everything in it and you don't have to really worry about your artistic direction and also making your titles and making your transition transition and placeholders etc I think this is a very great plugin because for me it eased my life quite a lot as I have a full-time job next to my YouTube content creation I am a colorist and I work quite a lot so this plugin really helped me to release YouTube videos often for you guys and always share my passion for color grading thank you motion vfx for sponsoring the video today and i see you next time guys see you